How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over another leak code question. Today our question is from Amazon and it's called reverse vowels from a string. Alright guys, today our question is called reverse vowels from a string and it's a question that's currently being asked by Amazon. Before we jump into the problem description, I just want to say I'm sorry that I've been gone for about a month. I've been pretty busy. I've been out of the country. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to get back onto a normal schedule again and uploading regularly. I don't really know what that's going to be quite yet, so I don't want to tell you guys, but when I do, I will let you know. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the absence. I know you guys are all thinking it, so let's just say it together. One, two, three, Kevin's the worst. Okay, great. Now that we got that over with, let's jump into our problem. Our problem description says, given a string S, remove the vowels A, E, I, O, and U from it, and return the new string. Okay, so I figured this would be a good one to jump into uh, just to kind of ease our way back into leak code and the random puzzles that companies love us to solve for whatever reason. Um, so our first example is the string input. Leak code is a community for coders and the output is basically going to be that string but without any A, E, I, O, or U characters, right? Because that's removing all the vowels from our string. So this would be the resulting string and again it's not containing any vowels. So example two, if we're given only vowels, right, A, E, I, O, and U, we would return an empty string because once we removed all the vowels from our initial string, we would have no string. Great, and so as a quick note, it tells us that S, our string, consists of only lowercase English letter, letters, sorry, consists of lowercase English letters only, and the length of the string is between one and 1,000. Okay, so again, this isn't a super complicated problem, but I think it's a good one to kind of jump back into it uh, with. So what do we do, right? We have a string, we need to see are any of the vowels, sorry, are any of the characters vowels, and if they are, we just need to remove them and return the resulting string. So one way we could do that is just iterate through all the characters on our string one by one, right? So go by one by one, and for each character, we want to check is this thing a vowel? And so a really brute force way to kind of do that is basically say, is this character that we're currently on either an A, either an I, O, or a U, right? Um, but that's kind of slow, right, because for every character we have to check, I guess, it would be five other characters because we're only dealing with lowercase letters. So something we could do that's a little bit faster is we could use a hash set, right? So instead of using um, five checks, basically, or checking five characters, we would just ask this hash set, hey, is this thing a character? Sorry, is this thing a vowel? And if it is, it will turn yes or no um, pretty quickly. So that's a simple way that we can kind of speed this up. So again, we're just going to use a hash set to check if a character is a vowel uh, very quickly. So we're going to make a hash set of vowels. So let's first do that. So we could say hash set, and this is going to hold characters. Um, let's just make it a set. I feel like it's nice to do that. It's a little bit more readable. Um, these are going to be our vowels, and we're going to set this equal to a new hash set. Great. And then we're just going to add all our vowels to our actual vowels hash set. So we could say vowels.add an A, vowels.add an E, like forgetting my vowels, <laughs> A, E, I, O, and U. All right, great, so now we have our hash set of vowels and this could very quickly tell us if any character that we're currently on is a vowel, right? So now we just have to loop through all of our characters in our string and basically check for each character, is this thing a vowel, is this thing a vowel, is this thing a vowel? And if the thing is not a vowel, then we wanna add it to our resulting string. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a string builder because in Java, uh, building strings and manipulating strings is pretty slow. So we'll say string builder, and we're going to call it to result equals new string builder. And again, string builder is just going to help us uh, build strings faster, more efficiently. So it's good to use. So now we're going to say for every character C in S dot two array, we're just going to check is this thing a vowel, and if it's not a vowel, right? So if our hash set does not contain this character then we're going to add it to our string builder. So if our vowels does not contain C, so if it does not contain the current character, we're going to say result.append the current character. So again, if it's a, if it's a vowel, we're not going to add it, right? And if it is, we're at, we are going to add it. Um, and so now once we've actually gone through this entire loop here, lines th uh, 11 through 15, we will have successfully, hopefully, added every single character 
that is not a valid to our string builder. Now all we have to do is return that string builder as a string. So we could say return result dot to string. So let's run this and make sure that this works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve reverse vowels from a string in Java. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Amazon. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.